thank you all for joining. We're now ready for questions. Thank you for attending, everyone. A game that should be chock full of drama here at the Emirates. Plenty to look forward to as Arsenal play host to Manchester City. This confrontation is live coming up on EA TV. And a warm welcome from North London. We're at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Possession seeded by the Gunners. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Declan Rice starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. He just needs to remain icy cool. Oh, good work by the keeper. Now sending it in. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. And the danger is averted. Well, trying to place it, but without any great success. Well, maybe went for the wrong technique. If he'd have hit it with power, may have got a better result. That's a poor effort, really. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Well, on paper, it's down as a 4-5-1. But for me, it's more likely to be a split midfield with three supporting the front man and two sitting that little bit deeper as defensive cover. Well, as we look at the table, Nottingham Forest have been amongst the surprise packages, not just grinding out results, very easy on the eye. Well, I think it's fair to say they're overachieving at present, but the way they're playing at the moment, they have every right to be in a Europa League spot. I've been really impressed by them. Will he find the net? And the keeper's hand does the trick. Arsenal had too much for their opponents in the win against Fulham. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Well, they were a joy to Oh, watch. Stuart, they might be onto something here. And wouldn't he love to have that opportunity back? Well, that should be 1-0, but that's not a good finish, is it? Ederson. Perfect tackle. It's a weighted pass. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Could go ahead. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Corner kick played in. Oh, stopped on the line. Cleared away. And he takes it on. Reading it well. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. A glorious chance. 
It will be Arsenal's corner as they try to nudge in front in this game. Well, for good measure, we can see it again, but clearly not over the line. Can be no debate over that decision. And over comes the corner. And clears the danger. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Ruben Dias. De Bruyne. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Firing it in. Oh, great block. And there we have it. The first half action is over here at the Emirates. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. City pushing forward with options available. Can he give them the advantage? Oh, a challenge of the highest order. William Saliba. It's with Erdogan. Jesus. That's an exquisite pass from Gabriel Jesus. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. And what a magical save it was! Let's see about the delivery. And a goal! And you've got to say, they definitely took a deflection off the defender. Well, as the replay shows, it takes a deflection. And as a result, the keeper had very little chance there. They just got a bit of luck. So City get the match restarted. Can they come up with an equaliser having conceded? Foden. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Well, news coming through that the referee has pointed to the... Oh, in with a chance! Is it going to be? And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession! No wonder they're celebrating! Manuel Akanji. How can he take them on and beat them? Chance here! And now he must score. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor. But he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. So back with the action. And Arsenal sprinting away with ease. Bukayo Saka it looks promising and up for grabs off the keeper well they can keep possession now Kevin De Bruyne well Arsenal are looking really good today just look how many chances they've created and I sense there's still more to come here and I'm hearing something has happened in the Brighton game Alex Scott has the details for Brighton it was a volley that was mishit it totally fooled everyone including the goalkeeper they're pulled ahead by two with... oh wait a minute could be in here it's gone in and well he might celebrate on the back of that well two on one the keeper has no chance here as you can see it's a well taken goal in the end Holland might be able to get in behind the defence. Well, disappointing end to the move. Well, apologies to Alex. Sometimes when exciting things happen, we have to cut her off. We don't do it too often, of course. To confirm, Brighton did score in that game. And the lead, as things stand, is 2-0. A change in the offing for City. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about.
Gundogan. The ball with Rodri. Phil Foden. Gives it a go. He's blocked it. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. And there it is. A goal. I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. And so that is that. The referee blows for full time. A victory for Arsenal. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Thank you guys, we'll be taking some questions now. Thank you for joining us here today. An occasion for committed fans and neutrals alike. This is the North London Derby when we expect the unexpected. Complete coverage is next on EA TV. You never know what to expect when it comes to a North London derby and that's what we have to look forward to today here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, Stuart Robson is next to me ready to provide expert analysis. Stuart, what should we look forward to? Well, I think we're going to get a good game. The atmosphere is always hostile whenever these two teams meet. Let's just hope the players can put that to one side and give us a great game today. They're two very good teams. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. It's gone in! Arsenal take the lead in the derby! A real jolt to the home fans. Not what they were expecting. Well, just look at the defending here. The keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. Well, back underway here. How will Spurs reply to that setback? Son. Really good build up, but no end product. Now the counter attack looks on. Promising pass. Well, as we look at the table, Nottingham Forest have been amongst the surprise packages, not just grinding out results, very easy on the eye. Well, they're in a Champions League spot at the moment, and good luck to them. They've surprised everybody with the quality of their football. They just now need to keep it going. Well, I believe a spot kick award in one of the other games. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Well, Leicester City awarded the penalty. The keeper will be kicking himself. He managed to get a touch, but couldn't stop it going in. It's now 1-0 with 19 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Able to skip past his man. 
Well, to be blunt, misfiring with the header. Saka. Just the challenge that was required. And he's through here. And a really good stop. Well, that's a save of the highest quality. Great goalkeeping there. Played over. Well, he failed to get it away properly. A good vision there. Bentancourt. And just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. Well, news coming through of a penalty in one of the other matches. And Alex Scott can fill us in. Yes, it was a penalty for Chelsea. The keeper dived, but he... Oh, jumping in. They're in a great position here. And it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Well, I love this finish. No messing about. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. That's a good goal. Hyung Min Son. Looks as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. And support available. But nothing comes of it. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Good vision from Gabriel Jesus. Chance here. There it is. A fantastic goal. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and... Off and running again as we reflect upon an eye-catching first-half display from Arsenal. Well, something has happened at one of the other venues. Let's get the up-to-date news from Alex. Yes, it was Chelsea that were awarded the penalty. Even though the keeper went the right way, it's hit the woodwork and gone in. It's now 2-1 with 48 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Cross fired over. What a vital intervention. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Oh, did well to skip through. Good defending in the end and danger averted for now. Oh, good vision. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Bentancourt. Spurs get the advantage from the referee. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Edon Zegrova. Really clever pressing. And a quick reminder, we'll have action from the fourth round of the Carabao Cup here on EA TV. It's Tottenham Hotspur taking on Hull City. Well, only 16 teams left, so that game will be fiercely competitive. Really looking forward to it. And a goal this time, applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, as you can see...
See, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Arsenal struggling to keep the ball. Madison. Victor Jukerez. Havertz. It opens up for Havertz. Brilliant save. Well, something has occurred in the Leicester game. Let's find out exactly what, shall we? Alex Scott. And he could cash in. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Well, we never like cutting off Alex, but sometimes we have to do it for understandable reasons when things are happening. Just to clarify, Chelsea did find the net in that game, and their lead stands at 3-1. And he whips it in. The clearance wasn't decisive. And I think the threat has been averted. Counter-attacking chance. Well, if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Must score! And the referee decides enough is enough. It's the end of the game. Arsenal victorious. That's the main headline from this one. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward.